SLV, ETF, silver. We would like to go back. Update everyone as when silver, when we were calling a short right up here, originally we were calling the short here. They came down, they bounced it up. We had to take a stop market on this original reversal right there because we did. When they popped it back up though, and they gapped it back down and it was below that half bar, silver went straight down. The contributing factor, margin debt selling. It was so overbought when we featured it over three weeks ago and that silver would come down. So when the exchanges raise the margin requirements, as we have said in many of our silver commentary and our silver live trades, because these are all live trades, so let us not forget it. And we hit this bottom down here. This was a haircut right below that 50 area. This is where the move started. So we've had a lot of daily volatility. Some of the major names contributed to it would be SIL, SLW, CDE, PAAS, SLV, which is a ETF you're looking at now. There's another high flyer that we'll do called AGQ. We know that silver had a lot of force selling in it. Once that selling completed the process over here, it never did want to break lower than these lows here in our application. This is a market maker application. This is that short. We came straight down. We hooked the double bottom. We had daily volatility. We had intraday 3-minute, 15-minute, and 60-minute volatility that equated in the actual daily movements here. This is an attempted bottom. Should silver break below, and we already came down and hit our low, because what SMF, when we were short, we said we would start looking at where those shorts would really probably cover, and that would have been right around that 3175 lower, lower, low. Right here was the low, and you can see down here in the info panel that that low that day was 3197, about 25, 27 pennies above our projected area of where short sellers would buy to cover. And we had some daily volatility gaps in pre-market in the morning, but we ended up making that lower low, like we do in all trends that have counter rallies. And counter trends have various mechanics that are involved in the buy and the sell transaction with the heavy hitters down there on the floor and in futures markets as well, as well. Uh, lots of cross markets go into this trade other than just the SLV ETF itself. Um, that's how these gap ups that happened in the morning and then the gap downs, this is all of that volatility. And you get volatility at bottoms. You get gap ups, you get gap downs. Let's take a look at the bottom. There's that reversal. There's the attempted rally. Now we did put in a double bottom here and we've rallied up three days so we're going to be watching very carefully that if silver breaks below if silver breaks below thirty dollars and twenty five cents now we closed up here at thirty four and they're trying to make a market again now silver is used in lots of products around the world however and so is copper and so when you look at copper and you look at silver, you have to understand a little bit about those two instruments and why they were making those highs up here that were so overbought and exuberant. And we always look for these overbought exuberants. And the minute that we spotted it, we said, hey, it's time to get net short. So now we're trying to put in a bottom here. The bottom is going to look like this. This is the bottom. You can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six day bottom. This particular rally, one, two, three, four, five days right here, was all of the monthly options expiration contributing factor with the gap up, the gap downs, the daily gap ups, then the consolidation. Now that we're out of the monthly May 20th op options expiration and the broader market we're going to look next week is when we come down and hit certain lines 
here in our platform, this is where they're going to want to be buying. And if that's the case, then we're going to get ready net long to build the bottom. We already did the short side of this trade up here. That's this hook up here when it was overbought. This is the level right here across here. You can see that back over here at the very same lines here in the platform. And each one of these lines are 57 cents wide. We had the, the, everyone got crowded up here in the last part of the daily buy. This is where everyone was chasing silver. It was the hottest thing out there. Media was really building it up. People were chasing it. Then bam, that's what happens at overbought levels. So check on the SMF website. The weekly closing is that it's got an attempted bottom from this bottom right here. Options expiration related. Next week is going to be the key to see if we break any of these lows or if we break higher and that the daily base becomes a little bit more of an ascending like this. So we would like to see this three day base here in this, in this closing week right here continue that upside move to bring us in the name. Should that be the case and that's these three days right here. It's a daily chart. So with these three days consolidation, we'd like to see that ascending part of it start to make a move like this right here. And it's confirmed by each day up that we keep making higher highs like we were during this part of a daily breakout. So we're looking where the bottom can show us its true colors now. We've had enough daily days and price action and, and options is out of the way. We know which way we're going to take it long or short. We do know that the other names, SIL, SLW, CDE, PAAS, SLV, AGQ, are the names that you're going to want to be looking at. You want to be looking at the SLV, but you want to be looking at those other names, MMTs. Silver Weekly Update.